Day one at the World Championships and the training hall was absolutely unbelievable. We saw a four kilo world record snatch from one of the athletes behind me now. Uh, we saw Kedemar Vajania come in with an enormous 213 clean and jerk. Rodelegas tried to equal him. Uh, the whole Colombian women team went heavy. I mean, the whole day was incredible. Team Italy as well put on a show. Julia Misserendina went heavy. Julian Perry went heavy. Incredible sessions. Uh, enjoy the vlog. All right, we've made it. We are here uh, at the World Championships in Bogota, Colombia. It's the biggest World Championship ever. Uh, we've just turned up to the training hall. We've already got a couple of great athletes to film. Robin Marin from uh, Moldova and we have Loredana Toma from Romania. So we don't know exactly what they're gonna do. We're gonna film them and then gradually over the day, we're sure more athletes are gonna turn up. So quite a little fun first session there. Um, Toma told us that she was just gonna do sort of pull squats, which she did. Then she's gonna come in later and go a little heavier. She worked up to 135 kilos, snatch pulls, uh, 165, some triples in the back squat. Robu actually looking pretty strong. Uh, Nick, who was filming him, commented on the fact that last year when we filmed at Worlds, the first session he front squatted 215. This time he did 230 kilos. And it looked pretty good. And that was after some really weird, like, semi-extended, but still flexed knee position, snatch balances, touch and go. <laughs> then Thailand turned up, and they're actually still just wrapping up now. And they went pretty heavy. I filmed the men, Nick got the women. The 245s, super strong. Uh, one of them was bat squatting 145 for reps, having done 135 for triples. The other one was also about 135 kilos. Very strong there. And then over on the men's side, we saw, uh, and I'm forgetting the names, but were, I put them all on Instagram if you want to follow them. They're on our story. Uh, one of the 73s snatched up to 140. He actually missed 150 twice. The 267 snatched 140. It looked pretty strong. So all in all, pretty good. And now Team Columbia's turned up, as you can see. Massive team. Interestingly, that man there in red, Lesman Paredes, uh, is training sort of alongside Colombia. Um, obviously four bar rain, but I don't know what they're going to do. I believe he came in earlier and muscle snatched 120 for a double, which is the most I've ever seen a muscle snatch. So his sort of goal for a world record snatch is definitely on right now. I'm going to talk to him now and see what he's going to be doing for this session. But yeah, uh, Team Colombia, let's do it. So as expected with the Colombians, that was, well, as to be expected, it was mental. It was busy, it was uh, fiery, it was passionate. Uh, it was a lot of fun, but I mean, Nick and I were just so overwhelmed with the amount of lifters. We didn't get that kind of experience really at the Asian Championships or European Championships, but it was very busy here. So let's go through some of the top lifters because a lot of their best athletes lifted. I'm going to include Lesman in this. Obviously, he's Bahrain, but he was lifting on the platform next to them, so uh, I'll include him as well. Um, on the men's side, we saw Brian Rodriguez uh, snatching, well, first he muscle snatched, which is actually similar to what um, Lesman Paredes did. So, Brian did 60, 90, and then a 110 double, which at 89 kilos is huge. You gotta remember, I mean, he is the Pan Am champ. Uh, he's one of the top 89s in the world. He's done, I wanna say he did 211 at Pan Am's uh, early this year. So, if he's able to put in that kind of show, he, he, he could be a medalist, but it's gonna be tough. You have to put in huge numbers. Uh, he then snatched all the way up to 170 kilos, which I, I did not expect. Uh, it's an enormous lift. Obviously, the world standard is 179. No one's surpassed that yet. Potentially, Carlos might surpass that this, this year. Uh, but 170 is huge. He then, so he made it on his first, and he took two more attempts at it. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, and he missed both other attempts, which, um, I don't know. Interesting, though, that he, that he uh, went so many times for it. Then in the clean and jerk, worked all the way up to 207 kilos, which Nick was filming him. I just saw it loaded and I ran over and I filmed it on this camera as well. So we've got two different angles of it. Um, again, enormous lift. You know, two, uh, 377 training total is very, very big. So great session for him. Um, Francisco Mosquera snatched up to 140, which is big again. I mean, he, he muscle snatched first. It's definitely something that they do in this part of the world. Uh, he must muscle snatched first. I want to say it was 90 kilos. Then, which at 67 is pretty big. 140 snatch, he was yelling a lot. Uh, 180 clean and jerk. World record is 188. That 180, really? it, yeah, from uh, Pak Jong-ju doesn't compete anymore. 
That 180 is an enormous lift. Speaking of which, Lee Sang from South Korea is a 67 who just hit 184 in training, has just walked in, so we'll film him next. So that's um, that's Francisco Mosquera. Let's do Lesman quickly. Also in great shape. He snatched, muscle snatched up to 115, as usual for a double, quicker than he did at the Asian Championships. He's certainly in better shape than he uh, was in Asia, which is great, because we know he wants that world record, and I think he's probably gonna get it. Then he snatched doubled up to 165, Again, looked very nice. He did a power double at 140, which was just a joke. I was actually, when I was filming him, I was looking over to you, Nick, to try and get you to, I was like, look at what's happening. Uh, just ridiculous. Uh, and then a 175 single. He stepped forward on a single, it was a little bit off, but you know, um, still a very comfortable lift for him. And then I don't believe he clean and jerk. Maybe he did, I had to leave and sort out some accreditation stuff. Yeah. Uh, then on the women's side, Jenny Alvarez, silver medalist at the World Championships last year in the 59s, three-time Pan American champion. Uh, she snatched up to 98 kilos uh, and then clean and jerked, I want to say 128 kilos. And she's, I mean, I'm assuming she's one of the front runners at 59. Obviously, Quo is, who was also just walked in, we're going to have to film her next. Uh, Quo is the runaway athlete. We've got a couple of Chinese lifters too in there. But still, Jenny Alvarez is up there. She's a younger athlete, so she's got time to, to progress. Then there was a lifter, Julieth someone, I can't remember her name, but she's a 64. She's got a very high energy total of 64. Uh, she snatched 100 kilos. I want to say she clean and jerked right around 130. Could have even been 135 as well. So she pushed it heavy. Um, in general, the Colombian women went very heavy. I don't know all of their names, but a lot of them snatched up to 100 kilos, over 100 kilos. A lot of big 120 clean and jerks, and we just saw all of those in now. But altogether, Team Colombia, as you'd expect, you know, it's their world championships. You know, we spoke to a guy who works for the organizing committee in Colombia. He said he'd been involved in weightlifting for 40 years and that this is the most amazing thing that's ever happened in Colombian weightlifting. So it's just, uh, it's a real rush, honestly, being here and filming the home team when they're in great shape like that. So a lot of fun, but my word is it's busy on another level and it's barely even begun. I mean, when all the teams are here and every single platform is full, um, I don't know how we're going to do it, but we're going to do it because we always do, but it's really tough. Um, go get your tickets, weightliftinghouse.com forward slash events with another forward slash after that. Uh, and you can watch all of these incredible athletes at the World Championships. So now we've got South Korea and Kuo Sung Chun. Nick, good luck. Let's go get him. Okay. Alright, that actually turned out to be um, a remarkable session. K. Demar turned up. K. Demar Vayanir. Our boy from Venezuela dropped down to the 89s for this competition, well, for this quad. And um, so we all know he's a strong front squad, he's front squad at 290, and he can clean a jerk. Uh, but he just hit 213 kilos in the clean and jerk in training. The world record is 217, that's uh, Antonino Pizzolato. He did, in the training hall, 213. I thought the 207 that we saw from Rodriguez in the last session was like ridiculous for an 89 to do, you know, a week out of competition but 213 he snatched up to 160 kilos before that and then the 213 normally with him i feel like he hops back a foot and then he crashes on him and he has to sit there and come up this time nice straight smooth pull caught the first bounce and that's game over for everyone else not maybe not everyone else maybe not carlos maybe not tian tao it's game over for most other 89s if, if kdmar's catching the bounce uh, and then you know he jerked 230 recently in training so the jerk in 213 was was nothing um, so, really astonishing stuff from him. His teammate, Julio Mayora, the uh, 73, who back in the day was like a 170 block snatcher, 205 cleaner jerker, uh, he didn't do much. He just went up to 110 kilos from power snatches, that was it. Uh, but we did have Lee Sang, 67 kilos South Korean, and uh, Kuo Sung Chun turned up from Taipei. So, uh, Lee Sang, just 120 snatch doubles. He did his classic, like he catches it, drops it before he stood up. The Korean double is what it's called. Uh, and then uh, 150 kilos in the clean and jerks, and then 205 front squat doubles. Uh, and then Kuo Sung Chun, uh, she didn't snatch her clean and jerk. She came in, she back squatted up to 190 kilos. She's a five-time world champ. She, if she wins this competition, which she should do, but there's some strong Chinese athletes in her category, uh, she will have six world championship titles, which I think will be more than anyone else who's currently competing. 
and then Lasha will then equal that about a week later at this competition. Uh, but yeah, 190 weighing 59 kilos, that's over triple body weight. Uh, and then she just did some snatch pulls. I'm not sure what it was, somewhere around 100, 105. Uh, I wasn't filming it, Cody was. She doesn't know what was on the bar somehow. Um, so <laughs> I think it was around that. I need to take a look at the footage, but all in all a very good session. We've still got, you know, Team GB's coming in. Uh, Tom is coming in to do a proper second session. Who else have we got? Probably Team Italy. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna have to film some of them. So yeah. it's remarkable how much stuff happens at the World Championships compared to other continentals. But you know, you just keep drinking coffee and you keep filming and you edit until the middle of the night and then uh, people watch it. So yeah, go grab your tickets. <laughs> okay, so that turned out to be quite a fun little session. Um, we had Misa Hosona, he came in for his second session of the day. He actually went kind of heavy. We had uh, Mirin Robu once again, went heavier, looked very good. Uh, and we had Nina Sturks from Belgium, who I've been really excited to see for a long time. Uh, and behind us now, we've got Team Italy and Loredana just turned up again, so I'm gonna film those guys next. But Miso uh, pushed his hand clean. He did his classic, like, you know, power clean, lowers it, and just comes straight back into like a touch and go hand, plus a jerk. He did 190 with a power clean plus hand clean and jerk. Then he went up to 210, clean, hand clean, jerk, which is actually enormous for me, so. And I think this is gonna be his first World Championships title because, well, I know that he hasn't won it before, but I think he's gonna win it this time. His main competitor really at this point is David Fisherov, who's, who's great, but I think Misa's gonna win that. And that, that 210 looked very strong from him. Uh, then Marin Robu also pushed it pretty heavy. He went up to 160 in the snatch, four singles. And they all looked really good, yeah, yeah, four singles. Uh, he looked very strong, then he just did some jerks out the back. I asked him before, I was like, you're gonna go heavy? And he just said, he's like, eh, maybe, we'll see. And I wanted him to do 170, because the, the 160 looked very easy. He did jerks up to maybe 160 as well out the wrap, but that was it. And then Nina, uh, I wanna say she did a 100 kilo clean plus power jerk. She did some snatch pulls at 110. She said that if I filmed it, she was gonna snatch it. So I got the camera out and she didn't snatch it, she just did a pull, so I was a bit gutted about that. But, um, so yeah, that's how that session went. So Italy and Romania next, so we're going to need at least two cameras out. If you notice, by the way, a changing in camera quality, it's because we are switching cameras, so, so that's what that is. Okay, so that turned out to be by far the session of the day. I mean, we knew that uh, Laura Dan was going to turn up and go heavy. She said to us earlier in the morning session that, you know, she was going to come in and if she felt good, go heavy. We didn't, want to, we didn't know she was going to go that heavy. She trained alongside Team Italy, so we had cameras on Giulia Imperio, Giulia Misrandino, Cristiano Fico, Mirko Zani, and Oscar, Oscar. yeah, uh, Martinez. Uh, and then Mihaela from Romania, the junior something champion was there as well. Uh, so Toma went so heavy, uh, I'm sure it must have been a personal record. It was a four kilo world record. She built up in the snatch, doubled 105 so i kind of knew she was going to be in shape because on this same training session two years ago she doubled 95 so she's about 10 kilos up 105 looked easy then she jumped to 112 as soon as she did the 12 i turned to cody and i said world record incoming she hit that she went to 118 for an unofficial world record to you know well the world standard is 117. she missed it then she made it then she loaded 121 which is a four kilo world record i don't know if i've ever seen a world record in the training hall let alone a four kilo world record. Uh, she missed it, then she made it. Just unbelievable lift. In the clean and jerk, she worked up to 138 kilos, which looked, you know, looked great. Um, she always makes the clean up easy, the pull's big, the, the stand up is big. And the jerk looked all right, but then, you know, I've spoken about this previously, like if she's gonna beat um, Liao Ji Fang from China, she's gonna have to have a plus 140 clean and jerk. She took 142 twice, she cleaned it both times easy, couldn't get the jerk. She missed it behind on one of the times, she missed it in front on another, so I don't know. Like, is she gonna turn up and snatch a world record? Probably, I've been saying that for a while. Is she gonna win? I don't know, like I really don't know. I, it's gonna be, yeah, we're gonna need to see what shape the Chinese, Chinese team is in. I mean, they'll turn up at some point soon and, uh, and then we'll know. From Team Italy, they also went heavy. I mean, Julia Imperio snatched up to 80 kilos, which is pretty big for her. Uh, not sure what she did after that, I didn't actually see, but we put her snatches up on Instagram if you wanna check those out. 
Julia Misserendino, who recently snatched, I want to say like 105 at the European under 23s, maybe 106 for an Italian record. Uh, she clean and jerked up to 125, passed out on one of them, then came back and made it. Really brilliant lifting from her. Her teammate, whose name escapes me, was about 10 kilos down on everything that she did. She then snatched up to 90-ish. Cristiano Fico ridiculously hit a 170 hang snatch. He's yeah. an 89 kilo lifter. I mean, if Carlos was doing that, we'd be losing our minds right now. And he just did it. And he's been hitting, you know, 210 in training. I tried 175 as well, didn't I? I didn't see it. Missed it behind. Missed yeah. it behind. Oh, yeah. really? Okay. Missed 175 behind. So he's just in killer shape right now. He's he's like the underdog for the 89s, to be fair. Um, crikey, what else happened? Uh, we saw Oscar Martinez. I saw him snatch up to 160 very quick as you'd imagine. But I will say this, no one near as good as Marin Robu. No one there. Like it didn't look as light. It didn't look as comfortable. Uh, Robu hit it four times. Uh, Oscar hit it once. It just didn't look as good. I don't know what he worked up to in the clean and jerk, but Cody said it wasn't anything massive. Mirko Zani in the 73s, he hit 150. I mean, they all went really heavy. Uh, and then Mihaela from Romania, who's... Is she a junior world? I think she might be a junior world champ or a junior so, silver yeah. medalist behind Julia. Something like that. Uh, she worked up 70 kilos in the snatch. 95, I think, in the clean and jerk. <laughs> So that was just an action-packed day. I mean, it's nine o'clock now. We need to go back and edit this vlog and get it up, but we're posting loads of stuff on Instagram, so go check it out. And also guys, honestly, please go grab yourselves a pay-per-view for the World Championships. Uh, it's how we fund all of this. We have to buy the rights to, to film and broadcast, and then we have to fly everybody out and film these athletes. So if you're interested, go get your ticket now. The link is down below. It's gonna be incredible. Yeah. Good day, good day one.